I want to thank uh, our media sponsor from Photonics Media, and together with SPIE, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the PRISM Awards for Photonics Innovation. So that's really one of the big reasons we do this, to get people together and, and celebrate and recognize innovation and recognize new product development. So let's get to the awards part of the evening. Presenting in the next category, Displays and Lightings, is Tom Matter, who has a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from UC Berkeley and a PhD in electromagnetics from the University of Colorado at Boulder. He won't tell you the year he graduated, but he will tell you that he is 30 years old and hexadecimal. <laughs> in the early 2000s, Tom's first startup, LightLogic, was acquired by Intel. During six years at Intel, he founded an initiative called Optical USB, which later became LightPeak, which ultimately became the Thunderbolt interface on Apple Macintosh computers, working with Mario down here in the front row. Later, Tom became the engineering VP of Picaro, a company in Santa Clara that makes laser cavity-based molecular analyzers. Today, Tom works at Amazon at the director, as a director of a top-secret innovation group called Concept Engineering. He can't say exactly what he is working on, but his group invented the Amazon Dash button, which is kind of a crazy thing. It's just a button. But when you push the button, it all automatically orders the thing on Amazon. So it could be detergent or coffee. You push the button, and soon the thing comes to your, to your doorway. And if you think a Wi-Fi connected button is wild, I think it's safe to say we will continue to be amazed at the innovation coming next from Tom's group at Amazon. So please welcome, presenting the PRISM Award for Displays and Lighting, Tom Mater. Bringing the water, I've been fighting a cough. All right, thank you for that introduction. I'm doing this to look professorial. Um, so I'm here to present displays and lighting. <clears throat> from my bio, you might think that I've moved away from optics in recent years. Um, about that button that connects to Amazon and orders you things, but that's not true at all. It has a one bit display, a one pixel display, RGB, and when you push the button, it's very nice to see it glow green when it's placed your order. So that has a display on it. So just, I've not moved too far away from my optical roots, just so everybody knows. Um, I want to take a little, a little side, side, um, a side trail here for just a minute. Last year, I was supposed to do this event, and I had to miss it. Uh, last minute due to a death of my family. So I want to do a little call out to Leo Baldwin. At last, absolute last minute, he stepped in and took my place. So thank you, Leo, for that. Thank you. <clears throat> and uh, rather than sadness, hug your loved ones. Just do. Life is precious. Absolute. Um, so, and on that note, I actually looked at, I looked on YouTube to what Leo said last year, and he had this really clever little thing about cameras and the word camera. And, I thought, is there anything clever that I can come up here and say? And I, I didn't have anything like what Leo had, but um, the only thing I can say is that maybe the observation displays and sensors, you know, if I look today, there's all of these categories we have today. We have displays, sensors, there's electronics, components. And if you look back 150 years ago, it was all one thing. The sensor and the display were one thing. It was just this thing you stuck in the camera and then you put some chemicals on it and it became the display. So maybe in 100 years, everything will come back together again. So that's all I got. So now let's look at our finalists. The Optan SMD from Crystal IS is a unique patented LED technology that delivers the most efficient LEDs with the longest lifetimes Dolby, Christie, and Excel present the Dolby Vision Cinema Laser Project, a richer and more detailed storytelling experience. QD Laser presents Retinal Imaging Laser Eyewear for low vision care, compact, focus-free, and high brightness. All right. And the winner is... Dolby Christy Nexel.
So I think you can see that tonight we are a powerhouse of people. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to say a few words. So, uh, so my name is William McKenzie. I'm the Chairman and CEO of Nexel. Uh, back in 2008, Nexel was formed. It was during the crash of the stock market when everything seemed very bad. Myself and Greg Niven, standing at the end here, and Michael Fernander got together to form this company. And we had a vision, and the vision of the company was really to create the best possible images seen by the mass market. The real answer was that we wanted our children to actually see something that we did, and you know, go, wow, dad, you're great, look at these images. That was the real reason. So uh, I've had a few successful companies in the past, so I bought some IP and some assets and hired some smart people and we got together. But we understand that it needed more than just that. First of all, we needed credibility in deeper pockets. So we looked around and we found a company, a Japanese company called Ushio. Ushio is a you know, $1.7 billion specialty lighting company and they invested 49% of the company and they agreed to put in this mass manufacturing volume over in Japan. And we needed that to drive the laser price much, much lower. So then we had some deeper pockets, some manufacturing, some credibility, and we needed to find a projector maker. So we looked for the largest digital cinema projector maker, and of course that was a, a Christie Digital, this represented back here. And they were known for strong, innovative products. And then we needed a market maker. I mean, someone who was creative, could create this six color primary system, perfect it, do everything from mastering all the way to the end, create this high dynamic range. So between the three parts, uh, you know, we kind of got together. Fast forward seven years, and uh, I don't know how many people have seen Star Wars. You know, we saw it in a laser projection. It was, it was just awesome. And uh, they asked J.J. Abrahams, who's Mission Impossible, Star Trek, Star Wars, where should I go and see Star Wars? Where's the best theaters? And he told the press, he said, and I've got direct quotes, if people have access to a theater with laser projection, it is shockingly better. The blacks are true blacks. It's the next evolution in digital projection. So... With the combination of Nexel, Christie, Dolby, I truly believe that we've achieved the vision that we wanted to achieve. Our children have seen this wonderful, rich images. Uh, Dolby's rolling out these theaters on a regular basis. And although I've got the privilege of accepting the award, I would personally like to thank Dolby and Christie for uh, enabling this whole technology and creating this whole new industry of laser cinema projection. So thank you very much. All the ideas, all the creativity, all the innovation that's here, it is really spectacular. Now, ideas are one thing, and they disappear after a while. What we see here tonight is the turning of ideas into reality the turning ideas into product, which I'm sure many of the winners, all of the contestants, realize is a long, sometimes lonely and difficult path. We've heard many examples of that from presenters here. So I'd really like to congratulate on behalf of SPIE, all the people who submitted to this, the whole 120. I hope to see their products make them rich. And I hope that the creativity continues in this industry. We are expanding the frontiers of photonics. This is indeed the century of photonics. Thank you for coming. And on behalf of Photonics Media and SPIE, I hope your next products meet with great commercial success.